In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Open Links macro. Right click on Project 1 and choose Insert Module to insert a new module and paste the macro into the new module. Save it. You'll also need to go to Tools, References. You'll need to set a reference for the VB regular expressions. Select it and click OK. Back in Outlook, we go to the Home tab, Rules, and create a new rule. I'm going to use Create Rule because I want it to apply to the selected message. I click Advanced Options so we can go in and make edits to the rule and choose the Run a Script option. Click on a script and select the Open Link script. Click Next and complete the Rules Wizard. Send a test message to the mailbox to see if the rule works. The new message comes in. The rule fires. There's an error in the script that we need to edit. Close the browser window and go back to the Visual Basic Editor. It's probably something with the pattern, so I'm going to delete part of the pattern. We'll see if that fixes it. And to make it easier to test it, I'm going to use a little stub that calls the open links macro so we don't have to keep sending test messages. There's still something wrong with the pattern. I'm going to check and make sure that the link is correct. And it looks like there's some characters at the end of the link that are bad. So we go back to the Visual Basic Editor and edit the pattern one more time. And then run the stub and it opens the link properly. If you wanted to open all of the links in the message, you would change global to true. Now when you run the stub, it's going to open all of the links in the message. 